everyone, I just wanted to let you know what I'm going to be doing in this video. So, if you don't know, I'm David Hamlin, and I'm made of the Board Game Genius, and today, the video I'm going to be making is all about mini helmet football. I'll explain how this works, but I wanted to give a shout out. Um, it, I didn't make this full game up, I made a part of it, um, but check out um, mini helmet football on YouTube and they have their own channel um, but I'll be explaining you the details on how to play so let's get right into it <laughs> Hey guys, um, just to explain the teams, all these white helmets and the Green Bay Packers team, so the Green Bay Packers team has all the white, and the Rams team has all the black-ish blue. Um, so, usually you do a kickoff and they start running back, but for now let's just start on the 25-yard line. I'm gonna say that I don't have an actual mat to play this as yard lines, I tried to make one but it didn't really turn out, so we'll be using this blank. Um, it's just this blank table, um, but I'll show you some of the basics, and maybe if you guys like this, we'll make more videos on it. So, to start, you know what the offense is, that's the team trying to get up the field and trying to cross the yard line, and the tape here, it's hard to see, yeah, there's tape on this table, it's very hard to see, but in real life you can see the tape, um, uh, the teams will try to be making it across there for seven points. That's how football works. So, to start, this is going to be a pass play. So this guy's the quarterback trying to throw it. And these three white helmets are the receivers. These guys don't do anything. They just block. And the same thing for these. Um, so what you would do to start out is, if you want to do a little route up here, you just hit him across and you can see it's up by the Rams player there. Then the defense, this guy, can try to block him. So, without hitting him. So then, um, for the second move that you do, you can do the same thing. You throw out one of this, this receiver, this one. I think I'm going to choose this one. So you can only do this with one receiver. Move him to the side and flick him up. So now this should be pretty easy as to guard. So now he's guarded. Um, so now that this whole lane is covered up, the quarterback has to choose if he wants to flick and tap the white helmets um, to try to get a completion. And if he did do that, like if it flicked over here, touched him, this guy would keep, you would flick him forward and keep running. Then the black team or the Rams team would try to um, touch him, which means a tap. So I would tr if I tried to make this a completion, so you can see, and I just missed him. You can see he's barely not touching. So that means it's an incomplete pass, or if you want to choose not to throw it because if you flick it and hit this guy, that's an interception, so the Rams would get the ball back and they could try running back their own way to get across here. But since it missed there, that would be in an incomplete pass, so we would be on second down. You only get three to four downs, and um, most of the times you just get three uh, because you don't want to be risky on fourth down. Uh, but most of the times you get about three downs to get down the field. You don't get any first downs or anything. So if I were to reset this here. So in this case, it would, uh, would have been still second down because it's pass interference. Let's call it third down. So they have to get to this end zone or the tape line. Or they'll have to go for a field goal. And I'll show you how that works. But for this touchdown play, they're going to try to send this Chargers guy up all the way up there. If the offensive guys, so the guys going down the route, touch um, the defensive guys, it's, that doesn't matter, it's not passing interference, it's only if the defense touches the offense. So now what the Colts will do is one move that you slide to the side, go all the way up, and that was a very gimpy route. Now the Seahawks guy tried to cover him, but he missed. So I could either go with this option, going over here trying to get hit that Chargers guy, and if he knocked and went into the end zone, that would be a touchdown. Um, but that could be intercepted, so it could hit the Rams guy and then it would be the black team or the Rams team's ball. So he's going to go for the safer move. And he missed him again. Wow, I'm, I'm bad at doing my own game. But anyways, in this case, it would be fourth down. So now, I'll show you how a field goal works. If the Packers chose to kick a field goal, here's their kicker. 
Um, so they aren't going to risk it and go for it on fourth down. Otherwise, if they didn't get it, the other team, the Rams, would have to start on that same place. So, now you would have to push down and make it flick up into there. This is a far field goal for it, though, so let's try it. And you can see it made it through, so that would have been a three points for the Packers and the Rams would start. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video because I, I really and thoroughly enjoyed that game and I wanted to share it with you. Again, this wasn't the full entire game, this was just some of the basics of it. And um, check out minihelmetfootball.com um, and it's a whole game set that people made. And there's also Mini Helmet Football on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment what you want me to do next, and I'll see you next time.